Hello, dear brethren. It's Poet W.P. Today, I wish to speak of compassion. Compassion is the all-powerful force that can save worlds. That's right. Anyone who may seem to think that uh, that is a naive concept, you're just not seeing the full depth of that meaning of that statement. Compassion is not weakness. It is, in fact, the highest strength. Compassion is the all-powerful force in the universe and in all universes that can, through its force of action, save worlds. Compassion is key to all salvation. There can be no salvation without compassion. This is Avlokiteshvara Bodhisattva of compassion, as represented by Alex Gray. It's an Alex Gray painting. I'm a big Alex Gray fan. This is from his book. <clears throat> called Sacred Mirrors. He has several books of art. I'm always promoting his stuff because I'm a big fan. And he has inspired me a great deal. Um, and this is really awesome too. Um, a wonderful Buddhist text on the other page. Another interesting picture he did. The shadow's not real good here in this. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, now I meditate in this statement. Or well, not statement, but this paragraph. This... Uh, this teaching. I meditate in this a lot. <clears throat> may I be the doctor and the medicine, and may I be the nurse for all sick beings in the world until everyone is healed. May a rain of food and drink descend to clear away the pain of thirst and hunger. And during the eon of famine, may I myself change into food and drink. May I become an inexhaustible treasure for those who are poor and destitute. May I turn into all things they could need, and may these be placed close beside them. Yes. Powerful words. Compassion is not weakness. Compassion is being allowing yourself to come into the full glory of of the Creator, to honor the Creator in the highest regard. Compassion is the gateway to heaven. When I, I do many meditations on compassion. Um, when the children got kidnapped by the fascists, uh, ICE officers and the Border Patrol and all those people enforcing the evil orange trolls' orders. I started doing highly concentrated daily meditations on projecting compassion upon compassionate energy upon the world. And with these meditations, I would sit and breathe and do breathing meditation, and. Um, I would visualize the world, like the earth, you know, like from like a shot from space, kind of, you know. <clears throat> and then I would visualize compassion in the form of like buttery golden manna, kind of like bright golden chocolate syrup kind of stuff, in thickness and consistency, kind of, you know, in my mind and my imagination. And I envisioned this buttery manna of heavenly compassion drizzling over the earth, all over the planet, and just covering it like a hot fudge would cover a sundae. And, and for every day I did this meditation, when the crisis hit at the border, when evil Trump started stealing children, Trying to bring, project compassion upon the world. 
then a curious thing happened. You know, when Trump went to uh, the NATO meeting and he, when he started shaking up and pissing off all of NATO and sucking up to Putin and bowing down like a bitch made tool that he is. Sorry, I'm trying not to cuss. Uh, <laughs> the image in my meditation, like I was still trying to visualize the, the image I had been visualizing, you know, like all week, you know, and the world being covered with golden manna from heaven of compassion. <clears throat> but this time, while I was trying to visualize that, instead the visualization appeared to me with the world upside down and the flow of compassion had been shut off. And the world had been turned upside down. And it, and all the compassion it was being drained off. So it was like Trump was trying to turn, the, turn off the flow of compassion and truth. He was trying to turn it all off. Sorry, I gotta plug in my phone. It's gonna get shaky. Hold on a second. And... Okay, my bad. Trump is trying to turn off the flow of compassion and turn the world upside down. Like when he went to eliminate or, you know, shake up NATO. I'm really sorry. Okay. I think I got it taken care of now. And then he went and kissed Putin's butt, <clears throat> made a fool of himself, and betrayed our country. And that was his effort to shake off the compassion, cut off the flow, turn the world upside down. Um, <clears throat> now, I was very, very alarmed at this. And me, me trying to, once again, visualize my daily meditation. And this is what comes to me. And you know, I'm trying to visualize what, is, what I want to visualize. And then this comes to me. So, later in the day... I went back to that same meditation. I was like, I'm going to do it again. So I did. Only this time, uh, the world was still upside down. But now the flow, the flow of the golden manna of holy compassion was flowing upwards from the bottom and flowing up against gravity and covering the world and then rising up to the heavens. So that that gave me a lot of confidence. Like I, once again, I was trying to visualize the standard visualization I had of the world being covered, the world right side up, normal, being covered by golden buttery manna of compassion from heaven. And now the vision came to me, not as it did earlier in the day. Now the vision came to me with the power of God defying the laws of, of the universe and saying, no, you can cut it off and we'll just switch it up. You want to go inverse, we'll go inverse. You want it to, the compassion is going to flow up now. Since you wanted to try it, we'll go against gravity. You're not going to stop us. That was what it was saying to me. It was saying, we can't be stopped. The energy is way too strong. It's a futile attempt. So that was like, Ha ha! Like moment of relief for me in my meditation. But then, after a couple of days, like I saw that image of the world upside down, but it's still flowing up, you know? It's flowing up from the bottom and rising up. Like you turn it upside down, it's still going to be happening. Um, then, after a while, after a few days, then the, in my meditation, the visual, my visualization of the world. Once again, still trying to visualize the original image of just the plain old world from space being covered by compassion. But now the image came to me with the world turned right side up again, like normal. Um, and in the image, in the meditation was where I was projecting compassion. It went back to the original image, but in the image I intended... Um, but now it was not only the original image, um, but it was also appearing reinforced 
with the divine golden manna of compassion with uh, covering the world uh, but with also like radiant beams of light bursting out of the world and shining out of it and refracting and you know indigo spectrums of brilliant light heavenly light beaming out of the world because of the compassion that all light workers and all positive energies in the universe are focusing on earth right now during this great transition into the age of Aquarius out of the age of darkness and bondage and deception and covert manipulation and oppression and subjugation all that shit ends it's ending now and it may be slow to die but it will end it is coming to an end the new age is going to be an age of transparency awakening empathy compassion awareness and a connection with the whole of humanity the whole of the world and the universe, the connection, the oneness, the coming of the cosmic Christ, the cosmic consciousness of Yeshua will dawn upon humanity. And we will find a new way of living without these old patriarchal paradigms that hold us back. So shine light. Shine brightly. Shine in the radiance of the spirit. Come out from behind the clouds. Shine bright. Do your work with mastery. Be the you you must eternally be. The you of heaven. The you God requires of you follow in the Christ consciousness find your heart center open your doors of compassion now this is the peace we must all seek and it is peace that I wish upon you all You must look within and find it yourself. Thank you for listening to this video. And I hope it lightens your soul and gives you a little hope. (laughs) Okay. Until next time, gang. Be good, ZT says.